Hello, I'm Dave of EtherTech Circuits. In the previous video, entitled RMS100 Power On and Boot Up, we showed you how to apply power to the RMS100 board and went over the boot up sequence. In this video, we will show you how to access the RMS100 board through its web interface. The RMS100 boards come with a default IP address of 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. The best way to access the RMS100 is to set your computer's IP address to 10.10.10.1 and the net mask of your computer should be 22255.0. Assuming that you have your RMS100 board powered up with a network cable plugged in, you can access it with your favorite web browser. Type in the IP address of the RMS100 board in the address bar and click Go. Now you have to log in. The username is always root and the default password is PASS. P -A -S -S. Now we click OK to get logged in. This is the RMS100 homepage. This is a view of system parameters such as temperature, time, date, memory usage, and the station name. Below are the alarm inputs. These are the GPIO inputs. Below that is the relay status. And at the bottom is the overview of the voltmeters. In the left navigation bar you can access the settings for each area that we just discussed. And down a little further here is the setup icon. Clicking this icon takes you to the setup area. The setup page is where you can configure your RMS100 board. Here you can set the IP address and password. And that's how you access the RMS100 board through its web interface. For more information you can check out remotemonitoringsystems.ca